What's going on, everybody? My name is Light Harmony, and welcome to Dragon Quest Builders. Now, if you've never heard of the Dragon Quest series before, it is... How would I describe this game? Dragon Quest is... Basically, Dragon Ball meets... Um... Skyrim, I guess I should say. And Dragon Quest Builders is... Dragon Quest meets Minecraft. Literally. Um, except this is all third person and stuff. Um, now, I'm gonna start from the very beginning of chapter one. So, here we go. Okay, I need to give this guy a, a, a voice of some kind. Hang on a second. I'm the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. It's not a bad deal. Thou wishest not for half the world? What thou not reconsider? Tis an offer of few would refuse. Raven? Why did I make my... Oh, right, I think that's why I named my character before this. Raven, at long last I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this haloed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Talking about me? Where in the world am I? Raven, my child. You have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? Uh, I think I'm a human. I see. See, I have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. Okay, then. Not so long. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Okay, these legs are nervous. Okay, press B to jump. Weird controls. Controls in this game are a little strange. Thank goodness, all seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. I look tired. She's the art style looks cool. Raven, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the made this very world may. What? I didn't not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but it's not the fate of the world more important then. Oh, my poor child, it is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Uh, yeah, that would be helpful, considering I only have 15 health. Raven obtains his first handful of white petals. Good. Raven, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build items anew. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Healing cream. Okay. So... No! Oh, that's easy. Like I said, it is kind of like Minecraft, except it's all in third person and it's like a top-down view. Although you can't do this if you want to. Wonderful, you have made your first creation. Raven, my child, you have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now, use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press square to use tools and items. Ah, okay. oh, I can switch between stuff like this. Nice. Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream with your own two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost the power of creation. Raven, my child, your s a sacred duty rests upon your young shoulders. You must... By talking, my lips are not moving. Hmm? Well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn your... Ah, very well. 
I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. Mine a crypt? First, take these, take this broken branch. I'm in a crypt. Was I dead? Well done, Raven. Within that humble broken branch sits a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before, and use it to craft a cypress stick. Build. Cypress stick. Congratulations, my child, you've created your first weapon. Mankind wants made tools and use them to build a thriving civilization. And as all great civilizations do, they so too they build weapons, but now only you have the power to build such things. Raven, my child, you have been trusted with a divine mission to... Hmm, well, I well and... I can well imagine you are eager to see the outside world, but... Would you rather... But would you not rather learn more of... Ah, <sighs> very well. To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press X to open the main menu and place the cypress stick in your hand. Press X. Okay. Alright, these controls are a little bit weird. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters, but they can, but they can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost its power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Over my child, the dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest, upon, rest on your shoulders. If the sun is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty end. Raven, you're not asleep, are you? Am I? <laughs> I'm not asleep, that's funny. <sighs> Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Okay. Let's see. Ah, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Well done, Raven. That should be enough. Press X to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. I have marked a, lo a location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Okay, use this like that. Okay. First, I want to read what's on here. There's something written on the gravestone. But it's old and worn out that takes a little. I was dead! Was I brought back to life or something? I'm assuming that more on that will come later. I've never actually fully beaten this game myself. Yeah, I'm most definitely in a crypt. Someone has scratched a message into the wall beneath the chains. But the stones are so worn out and that the writing is illegible. Now perfect. How old is this place? Sat there and jump, jump, jump. Oh, I only could. Well, I could have gotten out of here with two, but oh well, more the merrier, I guess. Well done, Raven. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alefgard. Am I pronouncing that right? I have no idea. Before you, light was lost in this land long ago. Now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this sombre, sombre, sombre. I don't know. Realm once had the power to create until it was wretched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Raven, my child, you've been tr you have been entrusted with a monumental mission. Monument uh, I cannot speak today. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt and the people of Elifgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from such a long, from so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Yeah, it, it kind of does. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. Okay, that works. No doubt you will fulfill your your duty in the course of doing so. 
So too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world, and the role you ought to play in its salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of this land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Oh, and Raven, there is one last thing you must know. You are not a hero. I'm not a hero? If nothing else, remember this. Yeah, that's a bit of a shocker. Cantlin Plains. Ugh. What was that, a swamp? The Ravage... The Ravage Realm. Are those golden scorpions? The land you see before you was once known as Cat... Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here. Ringing all around with stout fortifications. But all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former glory. Or even my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Kent into its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Gale of God arise once more. To this end, I must still into you again. Ooh, that's cool. What is it, though? Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of light you see before you. Even as the dark mist closed in around them, the men and women of Kenton flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more that its bountiful light may serve as a symbol of Kenton's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Raven obtains a banner of hope. Okay, that works. Ow. I literally took damage from like the smallest jump in the world. That's just annoying. What is that? Oh, they're slimes! Oh, they're so cute! You're not so cute. You look at the little slimes. They're so cute. Is this the ruins of the city? A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Really? Oh, that was fast. Where are they? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Talk. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> okay, I need to find a good voice for her. <clears throat> What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name is Pippa. What's yours? Pippa moves into Raven's base. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, that works, I guess. Oh, this game is cool. I like it. Why am I ever recording? Oh, okay, I've been recording for about 14 minutes. So I can I can record a little longer. What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? Excuse me. You don't remember? The goddess tells you to come here? So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices. That's not suspicious in all in the slightest. Ah, oh, I love the sarcasm. I love sarcasm in games. It makes it more interesting. But this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Um, sure. I don't mind. Raven, my child, even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Kentlin alone. Well, I'd say so, that'd be quite kind of hard for just one guy. Your first step in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join you in living here. The little remains of this dilapidated house save the door, repaired by feeling in the holes in the walls of earth. You can place locks above you by holding L1 and below you by holding R1. Okay. Hold down the square and you'll place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving to place many blocks in succession. Oh, okay then. That works. Take this knowledge in these blocks of earth and make some ruined... And make this... Excuse me. Make this ruined house livable once more. Alright. Raven obtains five blocks of earth. Okay, so... Aw, oh, that works. Okay. 
There and boom. That's incredible. That's not her voice. <clears throat> wow, that's incredible. The walls are full of holes. The walls are full of holes. Not as good as new. Huh? You fixed it? With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on the way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. White petals. Ooh, more healing cream. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? I built it. What? You got the power to build new things? What does build mean? Right my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. We don't need to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this. But well, it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm. But I can't see any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you'll find the mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Raven obtains a splat of blue goo. Raven obtains a broken branch. Um, thanks. Build. So I'm gonna go ahead and build some more steel. And now I'm gonna build some torches. Hey, where'd you find that torch? You didn't find it? You built it? Ah, so that's what building means. Picked up... <coughs> Excuse me. You picked up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks. I think I understand, sort of. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Oh, another broken branch. Thank you. I wonder, can I actually build anything out of this? Okay, I need two broken branches. Oh, that can I? I'm gonna... This? If I can, nice. And, uh... No. Great, that, nice. And now if I go to my equipment... Equip! That works. I just realized something. You never told me your name. Raven? What kind of a name is that? It doesn't sound like you have any special powers at all. Well, excuse me! But you can't judge someone by their name, right? No, you cannot. Anyway, Raven, you still got those torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. A room is complete if it has walls two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to st stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press, like, press square to go to place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. Okay. Boom. Now I'm gonna clear out this place real quick. Press the leaves. Please, those four. And torch! Three hundred thirty points. Oh, that's cool. Brilliant! Now it's all lit up. The room's perfect. You're amazing, Raven. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Does this face look dopey to you? I don't know if I like you or not. <coughs> Excuse me. But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? Anyway, thanks, Raven. Now you have somewhere to live. A seed of life, what does that do? Can I actually check that? Increase maximum HP by 5, ooh! Alright, well. This has been fun, but I am going to leave this video here. Um, this is a very, very fun game. Um... I will probably go ahead, I'll probably go and record another, uh, 
video on this in just a minute. But I am very much enjoying this game so far. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave the video here. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give a big fat thumbs up, subscribe here to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys!